So encrypting an image is going to be a multi-step uh, process. And the way we're going to do it, there's going to be a couple different ways. You can use just the standard encrypt, decrypt uh, security functions in Xana. We're going to use the JWE encrypt and JWE decrypt functions. But the very first thing we're going to need is to create a secret key. And this is just a function under security. And it says create secret key right there. And as I was talking about earlier, there is encrypt, decrypt. These are the um, kind of most straightforward. We're going to use JWE encode, decode, and there's also JWS. But first going to create a secret key. And we just need to do this one time. So we can just go ahead and hit run. And when we do this, we want to make sure to copy uh, this secret key. And we will go into environment variables now. And I created one called encryption key. We would just simply paste that in and we can hit save. Okay. So going just back now. So on creating an image, we still take in the file resource. I recommend taking in the file name because otherwise the file um, default file name will be super long and it might actually uh, throw an error because it's too long. So let me just show you in the create image from file, we can optionally set a file name. I'm just going to um, attach the file name with sprintf here and just say dot JPG, also Xano supports PNG, so just keep that in mind. Um, nothing new here. We're taking the file resource to create the image metadata. And now we're going to actually encode or encrypt that metadata. So the payload we're taking in is the result from create the image from file. Our key is that encryption key we created. Uh, we can leave the algorithm in content algorithm um, standard, and same with time to live. Um, and we can go ahead and hit save. Now, when we go ahead and add this, we're going to add that as a text field, okay? And I'll just show you why here in a second. So let's go ahead and run this. And so we run this, we know we can also have our um, image in here if we wanna put in a URL, which is what I'm gonna do. And in here, just meaning the uh, JSON body here. So I'm just gonna paste in an example image here. Let me make sure to get the file name. This is of a puppy. So if I just go ahead and run this, uh, we'll see that we have this encrypted token for our image. So that's why we stored it as text, right? So it'd be impossible to know just what image this is. So when we call the image back to the API, we can actually decrypt it. Okay, so we're just going to get a record here. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, just getting it by ID. And then we're going to actually go ahead and decrypt that image. So we're going to go ahead into our get record, get that image field. The encryption key must be the same as we decrypted it. Otherwise, it won't be able to uh, decrypt this. And we can go ahead and save this and return uh, crypto there. Now, what we can also do, let me go ahead first and run this. And you'll see that we will get the image metadata back, right? So one thing to notice uh, is the URL is not automatically rendered here. And that's because Xano does that on the fly when calling a image through the API from the database. Um, the metadata is actually, that URL is not actually part of the metadata that's stored in Xano, but we can get the URL from combining our Xano domain and our path, which is given. So a couple of things first. So that was just the metadata. If we wanted to attach that to our actual record, what we could do is we could just go to update variable here and we could go get info one and make sure we get our image field, right? We're gonna just replace that with our, we'll just actually update this with our result from the JWE decode. So if I save this, we can go ahead and just return our entire record, info one, and hit save. And so now when we just go ahead and run it for info one, we can see that under image, we get our metadata, right? So if we wanted to grab our URL, 
just grab this from my address bar, we first get uh, our domain here, which is HTTPS all the way to xano.io. And I could actually just, we'll just do another um, update variable here. And we'll just say something like image.url. So we'll add it into the metadata in this example. I'll just go ahead and paste my domain in there and I won't need my slash because it's part of the path. And I'll just simply do a concat filter. The value here will just be our, uh, we'll just go ahead and grab it from crypto and say dot path. Run, and now if I save this and I go ahead and run this, we should also now see our URL in here. So let's actually grab that. And if I just paste this up here and hit enter, then we will see our puppy is loaded.